We're here at the VIF International Film Festival and we're going to interview some of the stars on the red carpet. Some of the filmmakers and actors that are part of this year's festival. I'm very excited to see who's willing to talk to us. Alan and I have been working together on, for the last three years on a, on a leadership uh, succession and transition plan. And so this is the third year of our transition and as Alan mentioned, he gets the great joy of working on programming all year round and then uh, I'm more focused on the overall um, running of the business. Yeah. What films are you encouraging people to come out and check out this year? Some of the gems that you've discovered. Well, I'm really excited to see Julie Kwan's Everything Will Be from the, the BC Spotlight section. I was just saying to Alan too, I'm very excited to see Winter Sleep, uh, which premiered at Cannes this year. Uh, there's so many, it's hard to choose, but of course one of my favorites I think in the festival this year for people to see is going to be Advanced Style. So I'll have to check that out, and what about you? I think uh, a film that's coming up almost immediately that people haven't discovered yet and they should is Force Majeure, the Swedish film that was in Cannes. It's so enjoyable. It got a huge standing ovation at the end of its screening in Cannes. And it's not selling as well as I thought, so I want to plug that one. Don't miss it. Congratulations for being inducted into Vancouver's Hall of Fame. When did your love of cinema start? Oh, I think it started when I went to university because the university I went to um, had films every night for 25 cents and I saw those films and then when I moved to Vancouver we didn't have that available there was no film festival there was no theaters that theaters here only showed Hollywood studio films so I figured the only way that I could see the films that I would want to see would be to start my own movie theater and that's what happened what advice would you have to other young entrepreneurs who'd like to start their own festival well, I think they should do it. Vancouver has a number of film festivals. I don't think they have a Romanian film festival yet, but they do have a number of film festivals here. So I would say go for it. You know, I had no business experience before I started, no film experience other than as a film goer. I had never taken a film class. So um, if I can do it, other people can do it. You're one of the jurors for the Canadian Images. What can we expect to see in this category this year? I think there's some interesting uh, lighthearted stuff. I think there is uh, some really dark classic Canadian and uh, really profound and poignant storytelling so I'm really looking forward to it. Maybe we can tell the remaining community a bit about what film you're here with right now, a little bit about the film, get them to come out. It's called Field of Dogs and it's about the present day Poland but it is told from the perspective of, of Dante uh, so it's a very unusual take on the reality because it deals with with the present day, but Dante's Divine Comedy was the source uh, for writing the screenplay. What got you into this crazy industry that most people <laughs> are advised to stay out of? I don't know. I had a dream that I am uh, sitting on a on a chair high above the above the street and I'm directing something. Seriously, that was a dream you I was had. As a kid, yes. <laughs> That's what I do. Excellent. But sometimes your dreams are coming true. Yeah, so I have two films in the festival this year, actually. The people I'm here with now, it's for a film called Sitting on the Edge of Marlene, which won a Leo for the film, which is awesome, and a film called Black Fly. So I'm here to kind of spoil both. You told me you have a Romanian friend. My best friend is actually Romanian, which is hilarious. His grandma's probably going to watch this. Bună ziua, bunica. <laughs> just give him a personal message. Like, call it out <laughs> to him or to his mother and just, like, give him a message. <laughs> uh, hey, Iwan. I'm uh, saying thank you and hi, and I didn't say that on my graduation, he was all mad, so uh, this is that. So, you know, you can't get mad at me anymore. Why people should get off their couch and watch this film? Because it's awesome. It's got a great cast, obviously Sonia, but also James Bond, Danny Trejo. I mean, Danny Trejo gets to play a comedic role for once, so that's a lot of fun. I think people that might like him for his other movies will enjoy seeing him do comedy, and he's good at it, so. And then there's just a fantastic, everybody in the cast is great. It's funny, endearing, and it's original. You wrote this. What inspired you? I have two kids, and when I was pregnant with my with my first child, I was just overwhelmed with how special people treat you when you're pregnant. And it's very bizarre, and that sort of planted the seed of the film for me. If you want to fake a pregnancy, you got to look like you're pregnant. You can't be wearing high heels, right? <laughs> You're a special guest for the festival. What are you most excited to see this year? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be out uh, and about with real people because I've been shooting a television show for five months, uh, something called Strange Empire that's set in the West. Uh, lots of violence. So tell us a little bit about the character that you play. 
So you're in the West. I'm guessing you play cowboy or. Yeah, I play. I play a frontiersman. I be, I employ cowboys. Uh, I'm digging a coal mine. I'm trying to make a branch line off of the main railway, and I use violence to exact my plan. The feature film that I'm in is called Two for One. It's um, a low-budget indie feature, first-time feature by Maureen Bradley. Stars Gavin Crawford and Naomi Sneekus, and. Um, Gavin plays my son, who once wants my daughter, so he's in transition, and he becomes pregnant before he finishes his transition. Wow! Yes, so it's uh, it's fun, it's romantic, it's charming, it's utterly charming. I also have a short film in the festival called Withering Heights. Liz Cairns directed, and um, it's about a woman who uh, starts to disappear, starts to shrink after her husband leaves her. What can we see next from you? Oh, <laughs> Christmas, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm currently working on a feature with Bruce Sweeney and uh, I hope to be doing another feature in, in around Christmas. And, and beyond that, I'm not really looking too far. I'm just very happy that I'm healthy. And Living in the moment, it seems. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you.